in this advanced lesson on the course, we are going to talk about creating your own library of icons based on your brand colors and your brand style. And we are going to find different resources so we can download or acquire a set of icons already made that we can easily modify and add to our library and that we can use on any printing. If you have been following so far, you should have a screen similar to this. And I renamed this topic as icons so we can talk about icons here inside. To work with icons, and you remember this is a multi-layer system where you have containers of information, which are topics and subtopics, and stuff that you put inside. Uh, for example, icons. When you click on icons, again, insert an icon, you will be presented with a series of pre-made icon sets or groups of icons made by Prezi. However, we may want to work with other icons. And how do we get more icons? There are several resources. We use Envato Elements, which is at elements.envato.com. You will find the link in the text of this uh, lesson. There is also Shutterstock. This service is slightly more expensive. But you can have a full set of icons for $20, $30. For example, this one. You have a massive selection of icons in one sheet that you can include as items on your Prezi library and that you can use across the different Prezi products. There is a free source, which is Flat Icon, where you can search for stuff and find individual icons and icon sets, and these are free. They have a paid option. There is a free option where you can use a limited selection of icons. There is also the option of searching on Google. When you go to images and you click on tools, you will have the usage rights or the type of license that uh, the images have. If you choose a Creative Commons license, then you can use those icons that you found on Google. You can download them and use it uh, on your project. Some will require that you name the source, but it's safe to say that you can use it. Of course, when you go for a Creative Commons option, the selection is it's smaller because it's work that people have released as public domain. Now, these are the different resources where you can find full icon sets uh, ready to use. In this case, I like this particular example because they are colorful icons and you have a selection of 90 business icons and you can find the most used topics or talking points. The option with these icon sets is that you can use them as they are, because these are colorful icons. These kind of icons will match with practically any corporate identity. We can also download uh, these icons and change their color directly uh, from the Preds interface. In order to do that, you need to make sure that they have a PDF version of the icons for you to download. Or you can take an AI or EPS or SVG file and export that as a vectorized PDF. Once you have that, you can download. You will get a zip file. Once you have that file, you go to Prezi Designs and we are going to use the option convert PPT, PDF, or doc file. What we're going to do is directly upload the PDF file with the icons that we want to use. When I upload the PDF file to Prezi Designs, I get a vectorize, which is a graphic with different elements. Okay, can you see how each of these 
elements, it's a separate element in the design. We have two options to work icon sets. We can save entire uh, sheets onto Prezi where every time that we insert an icon, we will insert all of them and just leave one. Or we can export them one by one as a PDF file. So let's make an experiment. The first thing that we have to do is to group the elements, right click and use the group option or Control G on your PC keyboard. Again, we select and group, Control G or right click and group. Select, right click, group, select, Control G group. What we are going to do is select all the icons. Um, because we group this, I'm pressing the shift key on my keyboard and clicking on this graphic. What I did is I select everything except this particular graphic. And if I delete everything, I only keep this. And I am going to make it larger, as much as I want, and then use the option to download it as a PDF file. Please note that if I right click here, I can export as PDF, but I'm not presented with the option to export with a transparent background. So the only way to do this well is with the save, which is download a PDF, PNG, or JPG option of your file. And we will select PDF and make sure that we select the transparent background. Can you see the difference? Now the background is white. And now it's transparent. When the background is white, the image gets export as an image and not as a vector. When we use a transparent background, each of the elements will be exported separately, but grouped. Let's download this. Now let's go back to our main dashboard in Prezi and go to presentations. And we are in our icons topic. And we are going to insert icon and upload PDF. When I'm going to upload the PDF, I'm going to choose the icon that we exported before. And now we have our cool icon uh, with transparent background on our presentation. Now the missing step is right click, add to my library. Okay and because you added it to your library you have it on your library which is here and this is an example of one without the transparent background saved as a renderization instead of a vector uh, when saving without choosing the transparent background option so you can see the big difference on its impact and it's inclusion in the general design. Now, because we have it in our library, we can add it from our library as many times as we want. And we're working on any presentation, not only this one. And that's pretty much it. The idea is that you choose your icons easily and be able to have them in your library. Now, a word. We deleted all the other icons, but if we do Control C, like Zebra in our keyboard, we undo the recent changes, okay? We exported only this icon. The process to do all the others easily is where I select everything, just like we did with the first icon, and pressing the Shift key, I will deselect this one here, and delete everything, okay? Same treatment make it big, export, make sure that you have a transparent background and download as a PDF. You will do this with all your icons. Okay, 
enjoy your new icons library. I hope this was helpful. Please ask your questions in the comment box below and we will be responding to you personally.